Hi everyone, there is a new build of Windows in the Insider Dev and Beta channels. Let's take a look at it in today's video. There's quite a bit new, but before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I will have more content like this. You want to stay updated, but let's get into the video. This is build 22000.120. And let's take a look at it today. So here is the change log. First of all, we have a new widget. So it should be in our widget area, but it is a family safety widget. And so that is, uh, you know, they, they've been adding some new widgets, but there's a lot of, of, you know, new features and stuff in today's build. So then on the chat, on the taskbar, the team's chat, I don't actually have that on this computer, but now it has notification badging. And so there will be a little badge here, but that is a nice thing to see, you know, how many new messages you have or whatever. And then also the close button on here, the close button now looks better before, you know, then it only had rounded corners on that one side and everything. So I think that looks much better now. And then also if you are changing backgrounds for desktops, even if settings is already open, using choose background via task view will now force settings to move to whichever desktop you're actually on. So I'm a bit confused by that, but that is a new thing. And so then the identify button in display settings. So this button is now in a better location. Now the, the file explorer context menu is now more compact for mouse users. So this menu was a bit big before, but now they have made that more compact and it applies to the desktop as well. But then this new button, so let's go to a folder this new button is now all a drop down rather than new folder and then you click a drop down for the rest and i think that's better because it was a little bit strange before and then also when you do alt tab the the space is now more optimized and everything like that so that's all for the new features and then we also have some fixes there are some things that i've been having trouble with you see when i open that the action you know it doesn't really in, it appears at the bottom first and then the rest appears. That is one problem I have. And then also, I guess the start animation was a little bit weird before, but that is now fixed. So I'm not going to go through all of these, but there is a lot, a lot of fixes here and quite a few changes and improvements. So I think, you know, it's, it's a build worth updating too. I think you should go ahead and do the updates if you have been testing these Windows Insider builds. And if you haven't, you may want to consider that on, you know, a test PC or something. I actually have it on my main PC, but it's up to you. You know, if you don't mind reinstalling Windows, you can put it on your main PC. But anyway, that is it for this video. Make sure to check out the other content on my channel. And until next time, we will see you next time.